Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's currently Sunday morning, it's flat calm, no wind, and we're catching garfish on the float. Show you all the tips and tactics and how we catch these fish. Let's get straight to it. So we're down to Peterport Harbour here in Guernsey. Flat calm evening, Mr. Inshaw's here. Colin's here, they're already on them. And I've already had one myself. Beautiful, beautiful garfish or long nose. This is what we're after everyone. Fantastic turbot bait, you can't beat this. So I want to try and get a few of these so we can freeze them down ready for the turbot fishing. And yeah, hopefully we get a few this year once the engine's back on the boat. Engine's nearly on the boat. It's already mounted, just got the controls to fit and the dials and we'll be back out there midweek. But yeah, let's get some more of these fantastic fish. Just lost one. Collins on. So all I'm doing is just chucking the float rod out. We've got the adjustment down to about 10 foot. And all I've got is a little bit of garfish on the bottom. Just with that, Colin's been chucking some chum in. So it's certainly, a, oh yeah, fish off. It's, oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a better one. Oh, just as I was chatting, guys. Yes. Oh, he just come off. No. And he just danced and came off. Well, they're definitely out there. Let's get a few more and let's wrap up this turbot, mate. I'm gonna say I'll give you a run through of the rod, the setup, how I'm catching these. First of all, let's try and get a few more. Where are they, everyone? Number two. Let's get it back out. So it's really that it's simple. It's just chucking your float rod out. Bit of garfish, mackerel on the bottom, sand eel, something like that. Chum in the water, bringing the garfish in. And just smashing them, ready for the turbot, mate. You can eat them. Not something that I want to be doing, eating garfish. But yeah, we'll get them. We'll start racking up this turbot bait. You cannot beat goldfish for turbot. It's just really tough on the hook where mackerel will pull off and same as the sand eel. Quite uh, prone to being pulled off by a turbot once it grabs it, whereas a long nose, it will stay on the hook and the turbot will have to keep following the bait and eventually swallow it and you should get it. So, rods out, let's get some more. So just a bit, a bit, bit of info about today. High tide was at 6.30 this morning. It's currently about half past seven. Uh, 9.8 meter tide and due to the low pressure, it came all the way up to a 9.9. .9. It was only meant to be a 9.6. So tide has been really up. Oh, my float's under. My float was under. Yeah, the float was just under. This sort of fishing here, you can't beat it. If you've got kids, this is the perfect bit of fishing to be doing. Action packed, constantly on the feed, and they won't get bored. We're under. Fish on. Yeah. Oh, it just came off. It just came off. Hopefully we can get it again. Great, great fun. You just can't beat it. Flat calm day like this morning, off early, catching long nose, ready for the turbot fishing for the season. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Good fish. You're on the call. That's a nice fish. That went well. Thank you. 
So we've changed the bait up now. Bit of unsmoked bacon. Perfect for the long nose. So I've put that on the hook. Hopefully we get a few. Bacon for bait. Well guys, we've got a fish on. Yes. Fish on. This is a good one. Pull them well, this one. Another lovely big snake on the bacon. Let's get these snakes. We're fishing on again. Now you're going to get more than us. We're going straight back out. Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> Fish on. Another one bites the dust. Skanky things. Another fish on everyone. It's a better one. Another stinky garfish. Get straight back out there and get a few more. That turbot bait is certainly racking up now. Can't beat this. Beautiful morning, Sunday morning. Came out with the float early. I said to the missus, we're gonna go out float fishing, get some turbot bait, and we certainly got some. You beauty. Can't beat that. Let's get some more. Got something playing with it. I don't know if you can get the float with the camera. Yeah, fish on. I know that you're seeing Tim now. This is something a little bit different going on. As you would have seen earlier, I was golfing and I was just about to run through the setup. Um, little did you see on the camera, I had a good, big garfish on and I was bringing it in. And as I pulled the garfish off, it knocked into the GoPro and knocked my GoPro straight into the harbour. <laughs> so we're currently about two, three hours afterwards now. And what we have done, it came down with a magnet that Tim's got, that they use for magnet fishing. And what we've done is come down here, we've managed to fish out the GoPro. So what you're seeing is now, is us recovering this GoPro and getting it. Um, you couldn't make it up. Honestly, you could not make it up. Uh, <laughs> There's only one dad out. Well, big shout out to Tim. Thanks for giving me the magnet. If we didn't have this, I wouldn't be able to film the video. So we managed to get it. It was hanging on the rail because of the clip of, on a magnetic clip. The clip actually jammed between the rail and we just found it managed to drop down and get it so gopro recovered we can get back to the videos let's do it i'll give you a run of the setup right now so i'll just give you a run through of the setup everyone the rod that i'm using is my mitchell tracks mx2 it's a nine foot spin rod fantastic it is a 15 to 60 gram now what i use this for normally is squid fishing that's why it's a little bit heavier 15 to 60 because just for the squid if you get a big three four pound squid they can really take the rod um, and then on the business end, what we've got is a bead, a simple one ounce float to another bead, a one ounce weight to another bead just to protect the knots. And then we've got a 250 pound breaking strain swivel to a three foot trace to a size one hook. And then all I've got on the end there is a bit of bacon, believe it or not. That's what I call all the garfish arm was bacon. And we also caught it on long nose as well. But bacon was the main bait that they went for. So I'm sorry that the uh, video had to end like this. Well, big shout out to Tim and Marina for lending me the magnet. We got the GoPro pack. Now it's time to go and dig some vern for the bass fishing tonight. 
Hope you're going to enjoy it. That's another video though. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.